There we go. I'm unmuted. That might help. Hello. Hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, guy who uh, is only has one fully effective arm. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. Yes, to those of you who are following my Twitter, E underscore Vanderfield, for those inclined, but yes, you may have seen that I, uh, yeah, I have sustained some damage to my mechanical arm, fortunately not my sole remaining original, original arm, but, uh, but yes, so. As I had mentioned, it's a little bit tr challenging to get uh, new parts for it in this day and age, but we will we will see. Fortunately, not a tremendous amount of damage has been done. I hope to have it sorted out before too, too long, but it will probably take uh, a while. But yes, fortunately though, our main game here, Ark Knights, is a game that only requires one hand, having been, you know, designed to be played with even a single finger. But yes, anyway, so, Arknights. We're probably going to be playing mostly Arknights going forward, not that we weren't planning on doing that anyway, for the remainder of the event at the very least. But, but yes, going forward, that is going to be the main thing for at least a little while. I do have Joy-Cons, Switch controllers, and so I can... I can... Yeah, I'm not able to... Yeah, currently not able to move my arm into a lot of positions comfortably. It produces some unpleasant feedback whenever I try to move it too much or in too much of a way. So, yeah, I try to keep it uh, in place, in a particular place, and, you know, not irritate it. But yes, so, Joy-Cons that I have allow me to potentially, you know, have one hand in, you know, one position, the other hand wherever I need to, such that I can play games a little bit more comfortably given circumstances. But yes, it's not necessarily a perfect solution. I've found that, I don't know, for whatever reason, just my Joy-Cons have had some issues connecting to my PC. Yeah, it's not necessarily that they just don't connect, it's that they connect but they don't work consistently. So I've been looking into that, and I will need to sort that issue out before we do any real, you know, video game playing on controllers going forward. But yes, I also can't very well use a keyboard at this time, so for raids I will probably just sort of go and then leave, though I suppose that's kind of neither here nor there. But yes, one thing that is here, however, is a limited time event. And so, I am going to be a little bit more focused on that than I, or I'm going to, you know, remain focused on that, attempt to get through the story of it and all that. But yes, currently, that is the number one priority overriding basically everything else. But yeah, I say this to, uh, perhaps not excuse, but, uh, explain why, uh, yeah, for right now, even if, you know, things are a little bit less than ideal, that's just kind of what I'm going to be focusing on. Yeah, my internet connection is a little bit unstable today, so the stream watching experience might not be great. Were there not a limited time event that we were uh, trying to get through, I would probably hold off for a while, but we've only got about another week to do this, so we have to make time Yes, if women are supposed to be in the kitchen, why is it called cooking and not cook queen? Good question. I didn't even know that, uh... Quite frankly, I've not, uh, made tremendous use of, uh, channel points. I didn't even know that I had any redeems. I guess highlighting a message is a generic redeem, perhaps? But, uh, but yes. Hello, Shogeki Raya. Yeah, quite frankly, I didn't know that that was the thing that I had. <laughs> anyway, so, Arknights. So yes, so today we are playing Arknights. Tomorrow we will probably be playing Arknights, and the day after that we will probably be pl playing Arknights. But yes, this will continue until such time as we uh, finish Operation Lucent Arrowhead, 
And yeah, even without that, or even beyond that, it will continue to be a... You didn't know I got affiliated? Yes, I do know that I'm an affiliate. I just haven't... Uh, this is the first time anyone's used any channel points, so... <laughs> I didn't know that... Uh, I didn't know that I just had... Uh, I don't know. I had assumed that highlighting a message was a thing that I had to, like, enable or something like that. I haven't really thought about channel points, to be honest. But yes. Um... Where was I? Oh yes, anyway. So again, with the arm issue, yes, we will be playing Arknights predominantly until such time as I am able to either recover or get a controller setup that works properly. So yes, with or without the event, but while the event is going on, that will be our main focus. Yes, this week there will not be a collab, I don't believe, because uh, I think this week is the Sheps is off week. We'll probably be, she'll probably be doing something else. So, anyway, all that being said, um, yeah, pretty much you will see Arknights, and I will do a lot of Arknights if necessary. But yeah, I believe that the event is going on until the 19th. So that should give us another, yeah, if I really push it, that'll give us another six-ish days to stream this. But yes, I don't intend to stream straight that that long. <laughs> I do intend to, to take a break. What are the plans today? But yeah, like I was saying, we are continuing Operation Loose and Arrowhead. But yes, the Arknights Rainbow Six Siege crossover event. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, all of this is to say that until such time as we are done with Loose and Arrowhead, we'll be doing pretty much exclusively Operation Loose and Arrowhead. But yes. So, I suppose I might as well, you know, get into things. We wanted to get this done in an efficient manner, like I said. So, video games. <clears throat> so yes, between now and the... or between... yeah. Between this stream and the previous one, I did actually go ahead and, uh... I managed to get all of the other op or the up yeah. I managed to get uh Doc and uh what was her name? Oh dear, I've forgotten. Hold on. Alright, well, one second. The movie. Yes, Doc and What was her name? Oh dear. Hmm. This is going to bother me. Well, I'll figure it out. Hold on. Alright. Let's see if I can't find Doc. It'd be around here somewhere. Ideally. Hopefully, maybe. Um. Hmm. Yes, there we go. So yes, we now have Doc. If you need a hand. And... Ella, Ella, that's her name. Okay, I remember now. Okay, cool. So yes, so, last time around, I had also mentioned that I had believed that uh, Ella and uh, Iana were, re were related. This is entirely incorrect. I was thinking of a different character uh, by the name of, uh, oh, what was her name? Oh dear. Well, you can tell I don't play much Rainbow Six Siege. Anyway. At least make it challenge. But yes. So, Ayla, Doc, and Iana, we now have. Um, but yeah, we haven't yet unlocked Fuse. Uh, but yes, I think we would probably need to do a few more levels before we are able to access him. But, with that said, we have most of the Rainbow Six operators now. So, let's get into things. Sir, what is it? I believe I found a lead on that thing you asked me to look into. Word around the casino is that a shipment of orb if these suppressants is being delivered to that artist community. There are a lot of infected in there. If we can stop that shipment, maybe. Who's delivering it? 
a pharmaceutical company by the name of Rhodes Island. It has a bit of a reputation to souls and is linked to Lady Candela. Is it dangerous? Dangerous? Let me think. By the way, did you get anything on the men who showed up at Raynell's office the other day? Sorry, sir. We tried, but we couldn't find anything. What about our old rivals, the people behind them? Nothing there, either. Are you telling me they just dropped from the sky? Yes, in fact. Maybe someone doesn't want us digging up their background? And who is that someone? Ah, I see. Why didn't I think of it? Uh, what's that? What if it's in the coalition government itself? Plenty of people who would love to have my job. Perhaps even someone who spent a lot of time under me. What do you think? Uh, absolutely not. I've always been loyal to you, and you to you alone, I swear. Now that I think about it, you wouldn't have the guts. Y you're absolutely right. Fun way to refer to yourself, I suppose. Well, I have my hands full with what's in front of me anyway. Is there a way to kill two foul beasts with one stone? Teach those gangs in the community a lesson while taking those people down a peg. What do you remember about their tactics that day? I thought you had to wait in the customs line for a long time. It helps that I know the customs officer. I actually borrowed this car from him. I didn't know you had so many friends here. Let's get the meds delivered, then we can find a beach to lie down and relax. There's no rush. It's a very interesting neighborhood that we're headed to. I think you'll like it. What do you mean? A lot of them are engaged, engaged in very special, creative, spiritual activities, expressing their sentiments about life and everything around them through unique language and media. I'm feeling a little confused. Could you put it a simpler way? There are a lot of artists there. About as simple as it gets, I suppose. Yes, it would seem that the powers that be are already already monitoring the situation. Everything is in place, sir. Don't worry, sir. We're properly dressed and we've memorized the phrases that they used. Reenacting their accents and tactics won't be easy, but we've got a former Black Steel guy here with us who will take point. We've handed out the guns as well as the originium explosives and launchers. Yes, the medicine first and the fewer people around the better, I know. Leave the leave witnesses alive. I've got this, sir. No worries. I gotta say, I've found Commanding Officer to be a fairly amusing character so far. They're one block away, sir. Move, move! So, this is a bit of a false flag operation. They're trying to pit Team Rainbow against Rhodes Island. Uh, Ernesto, what's that in the middle of the road? Maybe someone dropped it? We'll just go around. Wait, it's an originium explosive. A what? No time to break. Jump! The medicine! It's in a special container. It should survive the explosion. Hopefully. Can you stand? Just a little scratch. They're running towards the car. Guys, there's no one inside. We're here. No response. Is it just me or do they look more like mercenaries than tourists? They could have something to do with that explosion. Let's go. The men find what they need in the car and run away before Tequila can finish. The remaining men point their guns at Catapult and Tequila. Guns? Who are they, Ernesto? That's what I want to know. Why are you after the meds? Open fire! Ugh. Ernesto, get down! Engaging, six o'clock. Fire, fire, keep them pinned down. Uh, 
Are you okay, Arletta? I'm fine. Only one of them is actually shooting properly. The others are just popping launchers. Reloading. Cover me. 12 o'clock. Our man down. Too many of them. We can't reach the meds. Let's get to the alley over there. There's a way out that way. Gotcha. I'll cover you. Of course, Catapult has a launcher of her own. 10 meters, 5 meters, 3 meters. Arletta! The street art community? Why do you ask? I'm interested in the arts festival on this flyer. I wouldn't go there if I were you. They are people you don't want to mess with. I agree. There are a lot of infected there. Infected? Are they sick? Are you kidding me? No one will show us the way. It sounds like a dangerous place. Are we still going? Axes won't even take us there. Maybe we should report back to Ayla and go back and go together with the others. Look what we've got here. The perfect angle, subject, and expression. A true work of art. Did you just take our photo without permission, sir? Give me the camera, please. Come now, handsome. Don't get angry. Take, take a look. I guarantee you'll love it. Here. The screen shows the duo frowning at the taxi driving away as though bothered by its wake. One putting her hands on her hips in frustration, the other covering his nose. Snapshot of everyday life at its most con amusing, condensed into a single picture. <laughs> That's not bad. You do have a good eye. I'm glad you like it. Fifteen gold certificates or equivalent in souls or, or ducats. I'm not picky. I'm afraid we have no intention of buying it, and you'll have to delete it as well. We don't want our image to end up somewhere we wouldn't expect. Well, if you want it deleted... 20 gold certificates, and not a penny less. We're not paying. Well, we're not deleting anything unless you pay up. Yeah, I'm a rascal, all right. Problem? He's getting away. Keep your eyes open for your photos out there. Adios, amigos. <sighs> He's too fast. Not to worry, Cuthib. He left a long trail of tire marks behind. Sit. Hopefully this guy is going to lead them to that same dead medical, er, medical? Artistic community. I've been looking for you. Is your photo portfolio ready? Just making a couple of quick bucks. Don't worry, I'll have it ready tonight. You always leave it to the last minute. I'll buy you fruit soda to make up for it. Forget it. Just get your photos ready by tonight or I'll break your nose. Ah. Uh, see ya. We're going to lose him. That girl is in the way. We do a, We have to think of something. We peek out from behind cover to see the girl pick up a spray can and begin spraying graffiti on the alley walls. Don't tell me. Has she noticed us? What do you mean? Look at the way she's turning to the left and wincing. Is she communicating with someone? It's possible their ears work differently. Maybe they can hear us even when we try to be quiet. <sighs> Why now? <sighs> Did she just collapse? She's ill. Mayor, keep watch. Be careful. What's going on, Katheb? You're really frowning. Don't move. Doc crouches down and examines the girl. A 
A strange expression comes over his face, and his brows furrow even deeper. What is it? Doc picks up the fallen spray can while covering his mouth and nose. I'm guessing this can hasn't passed inspection. I'm not sure you can get knocked out by spray paint, even if it's poorly made. I don't know. I can only do what I can. Are you feeling better, girl? Injector. In my pocket. Let's see. This one? Nod slowly. Good thing you have your own medication. Otherwise, there wouldn't be much I could do to help you. I thought maybe the spray paint fumes knocked you out. <sighs> I smell it every day. It's nothing. You already look much better. That's my last one. Here, have some water. And thanks. Where do you live, girl? We'll take you home. Don't call me girl. You're not afraid of me? I'm from Paris. I've seen my share of street gangs. Gangs? That's not what I'm talking about. Then, what is it? Huh? You're kind of a weirdo. The girl lifts the gauze from her right leg, revealing the Originium crystals on her knee. Yeah, just notice that on her uh, sprite as it faded it, or yeah, as it was visible before the uh, vignetting on the bottom part of the screen was visible. Aren't you scared of this? Not particularly, no. Perhaps they will learn to be in time, but uh, they don't know quite yet. We'll anyway, so, ever did see. we have new operators now. So yeah, I don't... Yeah, I haven't looked into them too, too much. I know that, uh, or I believe... Okay, yeah, I don't think that Doc has the ability to heal allies right away. I think that's something that he has to uh, pick up. And so, yes, so I have also confirmed that, yeah, uh, Iana's function, as we saw, is how she is supposed to work. Yeah, it wasn't some sort of weird thing. It just kind of raised a little bit strangely. Hmm. This is not a ideal location for Myrtle, unfortunately. Maybe I could have considered it a little bit better, but it is what it is. Showtime. Let's put Effie Eater here. She'll help a little bit. But yes, we probably don't need to worry too much about them. Myrtle can do a little bit of healing for both. Happy Eater can knock enemies away when necessary, though she doesn't have her automatic skill equipped, I don't think. Okay, so yes, so Ella is... Hmm. Yeah, Ella is a ranged unit. I don't know why I thought otherwise. But Doc is a guard. So. Let's see. I do believe I saw that his skill allowed him to heal himself. Though, I don't know that we necessarily... Well, <laughs> as I was going to say, I don't know that we necessarily want to rely on that, and uh, it appears that we don't. So yeah, one thing that I had that I wasn't quite sure of was whether the straight shooting enemies were able to shoot straight through our operators. I'm not sure on that. But yes. I suppose if nothing else, we can place... Actually, we can place Iana about here, and there, then she'll be able to... Well, no, actually, if we place Iana here, she can cover the upper upper level and this one at the same time. But yes, which way she's actually facing is irrelevant, because she can't attack in this form. But yes, I would like her to get attacked soon, because, uh... The thought can't do a whole lot of, uh, can't do a whole lot more blocking here. Um, all right, we might need some assistance from our good friend, Estelle. So yes, speaking of Estelle, I was actually, uh, 
I've been planning on, or I've been preparing a operator spotlight for her. Uh -huh. Yeah, the only issue on that. Hmm. I noticed now that uh, we don't have a good way to reliably trigger Iana's skill. Hmm. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Let me do it. Probably. I don't know. I want to deploy Doc, but I don't know that we necessarily need to, per se. Um, we need more damage overall, though. Yes. Yeah, she doesn't quite have the range to deal with the enemies up, up top, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Um, oh, right. I forgot we have Tamimi. <laughs> Mimi has uh, pretty consistently been overlooked by me, so my apologies to Mimi. I hope you, I hope you'll forgive me. This should be okay, though it's still not going to necessarily solve the problem of the enemy down here, which is yeah the high defense enemy on this lower part. I'm sure that they have some sort of mechanic to them, but I don't know what that is. And of course, oh hold on. Hold on. Okay, so... So, Ayla's devices... Yeah, operators who can deploy traps like that. Can't deploy traps on a tile that an enemy is on. But, it does seem that they can... It does seem that they just activate a little bit. Maybe it's just that the enemy happens to be close enough that it can activate. This is going to take a long time. Hmm. Here's a memento. Hmm. All right. I don't want to uh -huh. be here for like ever. So let's see what we can do about this. Maybe we'll switch out Myrtle for a different ranged unit who can heal, or a different uh, unit who can heal. Bullock probably doesn't have much more attack. Doesn't I have much more D or DPS, but maybe he has something at least. Hmm. Quite the pickle we've got ourselves in here. Hmm. And yeah, again, Ready there's not anything we can do with Iana, so I guess we're just kind of uh, here. Well, as I was saying, so I've been putting together a uh, operator spotlight for uh, Estelle, but I haven't been able to uh, I haven't been able to work on it too too much, on account of the arm issue, like I said. But yeah, that makes it rather uncomfortable and unpleasant to type, especially for extended periods of time. But yeah, I am able to use you know voice recognition to dictate. Uh, yeah, dictate. Uh, Ready to go. Target. Yeah, to dictate my. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? To write it, basically. I am able to to. Ooh, their damage seems to be going up as their health gets lower, or maybe it's just that they. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure quite what was going on with them, but. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so Iana doesn't quite have the toughness necessary to deal with what's going on over there for an extended period of time. Yes. Her humor also does not have the ability to deal with things for an extended period of time. Ah, okay. So Ella is getting spotted by someone, probably by this guard type unit here. Yes. Hmm. Come on. Alright. So Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. Um Gabriel should do okay in this position. Basically as long as we As long as we don't um Yeah, as long as this enemy stays within an area where Yeah, as long as this enemy stays in an area where Tomimi can continue to uh, attack them 
they should be able to they should go down at a reasonable pace yes of course with the way things are right now croissant can't hold out for too long because yeah croissant isn't getting passive healing she does have you know her healing over time or not not healing over time she has damage reduction from uh yeah, damage reduction from her skill, or rather, the ability to avoid damage from her talent. But she will go down eventually. And yeah, it seems that... Unless you have some talent that I'm aware of, or that I'm not aware of, yeah, it doesn't seem that his basic skill is able to heal allies, it just heals himself. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Hmm. Ah, okay, so this can only be used three times per mission. Alright, I don't think we need Doc here anymore. I don't think we need F Eater here anymore. That will slow them down. I won't be afraid. Hmm. Can we get some use out of Iana? No. But yes. This is not uh we're kind of in the same situation situation that we were before. Ah, but now Tomimi can't attack. Okay. This is unfortunate. Let's just have Croissant leave for the time being. Yes, that way Iana can contribute and so can Tomimi. Very good. So that was not a... Yeah, that was not a particularly challenging mission, but it was one that was lengthy due to... Uh, some perhaps less than less than sound tactical decisions. But yes. So yeah, okay. So Yana was in a bad position. I was trying to get her to cover both lanes, but in the process I put her in a position where she couldn't effectively cover either lane. So Yana definitely needs to be somewhere where enemies can attack her. But she needs to be somewhere where enemies, like, won't attack her consistently. Because once she was getting shot at, she was obliterated very quickly. But yes. Yeah, again, with a Doll Keeper, usually their gimmick is that they have essentially two health bars. But Iana only has the one, because her substitute, or rather her base form, technically the one that gets deployed later, is the substitute, but... Yeah, the one that is deployed onto the mission as Iana is her is her uh, hologram. She starts out as her hologram, and the hologram uh, can't do anything. Can't attack, and if it isn't being attacked, then Iana can't really do much. So this maybe just isn't the best mission for her, given the circumstances we saw. But yeah, Tamimi, better positioning on Tamimi would have saved us a lot of grief there. Let me actually look at the enemies so that I know what they are doing. Okay, Armored Scout. Expose the attacker for 5 seconds when attacked. Okay, okay. When exposed, yeah. So, they cannot use barricades. Alright, we... that's good. The Hound is a Hound. Nothing too interesting there. Rapid Light Crossbowmen. Hmm. Three Bolts. I don't... I don't know that they can... For some reason, I had thought that they could pierce through our units, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. But yeah, anyway, if we just position ourselves a little bit more thoughtfully, we'll probably be able to do this without any, any real issue. But yeah, Iana is going to be somewhat interesting to work around. She'll probably get more applicable once she's a bit higher level. Doc, as well, isn't anything too great so far. Sit. So yes, he can get a period of high DPS, but only a few times per level. Or, yeah, a few times per level. And yeah, he doesn't have any team healing currently. So, one way or the other, Tamimi did fine, I just didn't make very good use of her. All of our units just kind of got put into basically the worst place that we could have put them. So, let's try not to do that this time.
Okay. So. Let's go. Given circumstances. I don't know that Iana is great for this mission. I think with the enemies we're facing and the just her general function, probably she could be put somewhere else. But yes. Um, hmm. I shouldn't hesitate. I should deploy Myrtle early. I do want to deploy Ayla, but yeah. I got this. As soon as, or the sooner we can start getting uh, Myrtle's uh, skill active, the better. So yes, Healing Wings is going to be pretty good for us. Oh, and actually, with where she is, Ayla can't be attacked unless the enemy is in a in very specific positions. Um, yes, yeah, so I think what we want to do is we want... Oh dear. I won't be afraid. Hmm. Well, Here's a it is what it is. I'm not too concerned. Um, we do need a defender down here. Or rather, a source here of damage down here. Oh dear. Hmm. So these fellows do quite a bit of damage quite quickly, huh? I was thinking that we would deploy, uh, say, Estelle or someone up on the top lane, uh, but it looks like we should have done that a little bit faster. It is what it is, though. Healing Wing should do okay. I don't like this situation because we don't have very much damage on this bottom lane, and yeah, Croissant is not able to take out enemies basically at all, and we're about to lose. So, maybe this isn't quite so easy as I said it was going to be. Let's try that again. Yes, again, there the issue I think was just hesitation, mostly. So, Myrtle thusly, we need to have backup for Myrtle. Because if we don't have someone physically in front of her blocking units, then we're not going to get really anywhere very quickly. So, I had thought about using... I had thought about using Croissant there. Well, I didn't think about it, I just did it. And I guess the issue was that I didn't think about it, but... But yes. So, we just kind of put... We just kind of put, uh... Croissant there, and just kind of poked it would work. I'd wanted her there because I thought that she would be good to block shots that would otherwise hit Perfumer. So this is a Probably I didn't need to deploy Perfumer this early, necessarily. Hmm. Okay. So, I think with Croissant here, that would be perfectly fine. And it should keep enemies from targeting uh, Ayla. So, if we were to say place a unit, oh, actually, that's pretty. That's a pretty good spot to start using uh, for mines. Okay, so yeah, so all of those shots hit Estelle. None of them hit Perfumer. So yeah, my thoughts are my thoughts were correct. So yeah, stock and do a bit of damage up there. Can't heal, but we don't need that much healing on him. Yes, Estelle is maybe not the best in her current position, but she will be backed up before too long by Tomini, who is only has one uh, barricade separating her from the enemies, but it's better than nothing. Yes. There's, got your back. Specific, there's no specific reason to use Tomimi, I don't think. I could have just as easily used basically anyone else and probably gotten better results, but, you know, she's there, so. I didn't, uh, yeah, okay. So, this just says when triggered it activates. I don't know that that... Ah, okay. So it does have a radius around it. It is, it is in fact a mine and not just a effectively a explosive that you can just place. 
So yes, so we can start using these proactively. And so, it slows the, reduces the hit rate of physical and arch attack by 10%, lasting for 7 seconds. So basically, enemies don't attack as quickly. Hmm, I was going to place Utage over here, but then I realized he would get shredded immediately. So, uh, we probably don't want that. Hmm. I mean, it is kind of in the line of fire, but she's not really that bad off, I don't think. But yes, so these mines should reduce the... reduce the hit rate. In my mind, makes me think that it, uh, reduces their attack speed, basically. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried about Tomimi's safety, and I might actually activate her skill to uh, make her not uh, be revealed for a little bit until we've managed to clear out some space up here. So yes. We can... I gotta say, I do very much like that these mines... Hmm, I guess they don't do damage now that I look at it. Um, oh dear. Hmm. Indeed. Um. Yana? Alright, so Yana is not uh, contributing. That's unfortunate. Ready to heal. So, it is what it is. I've got the situation has kind of uh, degenerated somewhat. But we should be able to make this work still, I think. Mm, maybe, maybe not so much. Um, Hang in there, coming. Hmm. All right, Doc is down, which is a little bit unfortunate, but Utaga can probably pick up the slack. Um, if you want treat, yeah, I suppose I probably should have been using the mines maybe a little bit more aggressively. Because, yeah, again, the issue is that we don't have the, uh, yeah, these enemies are doing damage a little bit faster than we would like. And they're not taking damage if as fast as we would like. Yeah. yeah, even with uh, Tomimi dealing arch damage, they're really, really resilient. <laughs> yeah. The top would probably have been better for Estelle, maybe. But I guess the issue isn't just that uh, Croissant wasn't able to kill things. Hmm. It's a bit of a challenge. But we're not too worried. Anything else I can help with? No, my friend is coming. She'll take care of the rest. I came as soon as I heard. What happened? Let me take a look. Hey, don't grab my head, and don't lift my skirt with so many people watching. Well, you look alive enough. Thanks to these two, they helped me when I had a flare-up. Just doing what any doctor should. There aren't many doctors like you left. Most can't run away fast enough when they find out about our condition. If you're here to take care of her, then we'll be leaving. Wait, uh, here, here's my card. Please feel free to visit our massage parlor anytime. 20% off for you, amigos. Thank you, but I don't think we'll need... She's good, you know. Whenever we get an ache or pain, all of us go right to her. I'm a physician. I know how to take care of myself. I don't need any help. Just try it, sir. Please keep your distance, ma'am. The woman takes a few steps back, puts on a pair of gloves, and snaps her fingers. Uh, sure, I can do it from this distance. You can touch me from there? Hmm, <laughs> I've heard of people claiming the ability to perform therapy from afar, whether it's called Chi or some other name. Most research indicates that it's pseudoscience. As the woman's fingers move through the air, the, fe the pair feel a warm sensation on their shoulders and soon feel a sense of comfort that envelops them gently. Oh, my stress and anxiety. All gone. I feel like... I try to give Doc a little bit of a French accent when I learned that he was French, but I feel like I'm giving him a little bit of a Spanish accent. 
Am I imagining it? I feel so good. Oh. Well, I guess I can forget the research. What? Someone stole the meds? This is no joke, Ernesto. We have a lot of infected in this community who need those meds. We apologize for failing to deliver. We'll try to make up for it. You don't really think money will do it, do you? If we can't find the meds, I'll try to obtain an equivalent amount of medicine in a timely manner. Sorry, Senor Ernesto. I'm just nervous. Did you see the robbers? We have plenty of eyes and ears here. Maybe we can help. That's what felt strange. It looked like a repaired ambush. Rhodes Island has always treaded carefully around here, trying not to make enemies. I can't imagine why anyone would target us. Maybe they had their eyes on your meds. The presents fetch a good price in the black market. They were very professional, quick and efficient. And are our meds really worth that kind of effort? And also, I think I heard the sound of gunfire while we were running. Guns. Rose again. I'm glad Raynell thinks so highly of us. You think someone is targeting your community? Our grudge with Raynell goes back a long way. I never thought he would do something so dirty. What's with the commotion downstairs? Sounds like someone's condition flared up while they were outside and got help from a kind passerby. People are gathering to thank them. We always repay acts of kindness. Let me see their faces. Say, haven't I seen them before? The man picks up yesterday's newspaper and flips to the gossip section, pausing at its title. No one can stand him. Raynell changes bodyguards. Again. Subtitle. Exclusive report. Four guards. Two ships. Who are they? Hey, they look really like the ones down there. Looks like you really have to repay their kindness. I feel like I've been born again. It's hard to describe. Thank you. It's such an astonishing massage technique. I learned it in Kerag. I had to climb Mount Carlin in a snowstorm to convince the Saintess there to treat me, to teach me. Ah, you came here from Syracuse, what, seven or eight years ago? Why did you have time to go to the Snow Realm? Don't believe her tall tales. Hey, I, re I resent the accusation. Well, thank you for the massage, but we should go. Right now, there's a lot of people working for him. A couple less won't make any difference. How about you stay a little while longer and enjoy our hospitality? Uh, Papa? What's the matter? Why are you with these medicine robbers? Why did you bring them here? Medicine? Yes, medicine for Oropathy. They stole it. Stole? Couldn't be them. They don't even know what Oropathy is. We don't know anything about any medicine. Could there be a misunderstanding? Misunderstanding? Who else but Black Steel and you dress like mercenaries and use guns in these parts? We were just bringing the girl back. Well, if it's a, if there's a misunderstanding, we'll clear it up. Take them in. The duo see Diaz's aide raise his staff. While they cannot imagine how the light at the tip of the staff would do damage, they instinctively sense the approaching danger. Run, Katev. Look out! Come on, you gun-toting thugs. I dare you to set foot in this neighborhood. You were too fast. I couldn't catch you. Where are they? Hiding. What are you doing standing there? Find them! Move! Move! was that? Magic? I think they called it Originium Arx, but I guess magic is fine. Fair enough. We need to find a way out. The exits are all guarded. Cover me. I'll control the replicate. Ready. Gemini Replicator active. It, 
Hey, where do they go? Not here, not there. Where did she come from? Right in the middle of the road. Bows, crossbows, launchers, arts units, all sorts of weapons point towards the Gemini unit in the middle of the road. Even Iana is speechless at the reception. Well, talk about a warm welcome. Bows, crossbows, bombs, magic. Let's go while they're, while they're distracted by the decoy. It won't take long for them to figure it out. Maybe we should get in touch with Ayla, see what's going on. I'm just so confused right now. No, I'm sure it's not Raynell's guys. His guards have been busy getting whipped by Shurat. Are you sure he's telling the truth? I'm sure. He hasn't had a chance to give an order like that today. But the people here seem so sure that we stole their medicine. That's not important. What's important is that we get out of that neighborhood ASAP. It's dangerous for you two to continue, given their special powers. You need support? No, their Originium arts are impressive, but they're just a disorganized mob. I know how to protect myself, and Kateb's here with me. Get in touch if anything happens. I will. If this is first, Mayor, I'm to move. All right, let's go. All right, I've taken a look from up high. The district is roughly divided into three areas. The outer ring, the residential district, and that building at the center. Which is always patrolled by guys with magic wands. There must be something or some, someone or something important there. That's not important. We are steering well clear of it anyway. What about going through the residential area? I don't see anyone armed. It seems to be a safe path. Or it could be more dangerous. True. Common sense doesn't apply to this planet. Sound on the sound from window on the right. I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent necessarily, but ah. Don't cry, babe. Daddy will sing you a song. Where are you flying, tired foul beast? Towards tomorrow's wind, don't you know your wings are for today? Asleep, finally. I didn't think I would hear a song like that here. Yikes! What happened? Something just dashed past my feet. Rat, snail, I'm not sure. It's too dark. This is their garbage dump. No wonder no one comes here. The way out is just ahead. You should be glad that people don't come to this stink heap. Hostiles? No, just light from that window. Why would they do this in their own home? Oh, thank you so much, honey. That foul beast just kept running. Eh, well, it's not running anymore. Now we can... Oh no, it's waking up again. Arts like that just don't work here. Loud foul beast crowing. Oh no, she's waking up again. Loud baby crying. <sighs> I guess Originium Arts isn't the answer to everything. Look at the color of the acrylic boards on the walls. Only people who think of this place as home would put up decorations with no practical use like those. Same goes for the graffiti on this side. The scenes, figures, and decorations don't look like casual doodles. Every picture seems to tell a story. What are you doing here? The, the girl, we... Calm down. We didn't do what that gentleman accused us of. It's a misunderstanding. I... I don't know. You helped me, but... We mean no harm. You know that girl. Go right once you leave the alley. The left side may look empty, but sometimes Papa goes out there to smoke. I was just taking out the trash. I didn't see anything. You... You should go, Katap. Let's get you back on your feet, shall we? 
All right, so we will need to work on that a little bit more. And uh, yeah, we can't. We do need to complete the mission with a certain rating in order to be able to unlock. Uh, yeah, in order to be able to unlock other or views, I do believe, whenever we do unlock views, which I'm not sure of now that I think about it. Ah, okay. So yes. So spec op notes here. We can basically get uh, achievements for completing certain missions with certain requirements. And it seems that we need to complete, yeah, we just need to beat CR4 in order to get views, it looks like. I suppose I'll collect all that we've got so far. I have spent basically all of my free sanity on this game grinding stamp cards. We're probably not going to need all of these, but you know. CS. So, yes. so, we do need to continue progressing. We don't need to worry about this, though I would ideally like to be able to get the Originium Prime from it, getting from completing it with a three star rating. I'm not going to worry about that on camera though. So, yes. The difficulty is ramping up relatively quickly. Originium explosive. Okay, let me let me have one thought at a time. Okay. So, difficulty is ramping up somewhat. I don't want this to take too too long, so we will continue to improve our units as we go. As is the compromise that I came to before. <clears throat> of course, I do want to see everyone's uh, upgraded skills, so we're we were gonna have to do that anyway. So I guess it's not that much of a compromise. But yeah, anyway. So, one way or the other, I will be back shortly, because I have to go uh, do something. But yes, there is a, a bit of an issue with the damaged arm, uh, where I have to uh, manually cool it every now and then in order to keep the, it, keep the problem from uh, worsening. So, be right back, in short. All right, I have returned. But yes, manual cooling is applied, and so we should be good to continue. But yes. So, before we get into this, though, I do want to, first of all, say so yes, originally an explosive. Explodes when destroyed, stunning all nearby units and dealing damage. I wonder if that also applies to enemies. Hmm. The things in the yellow cases look like they'd probably be Originium explosives. I can't say for certain, but they, if anything is, I think it would be them. But I would also assume that they would just kind of appear on the map. I suppose, actually, they might be something that enemies target or something that enemies might inadvertently hit in the process of using their abilities. Yeah, that'll be interesting. We're only defending one point. But anyway, all that aside, let's get our team a little bit powered up. This will make things easier. Ah, hello, Alt. Yes, this should, in fact, make things easier. So, let's promote Doc. Hope you're having a good week. I've had better weeks, but I'm doing pretty well now, thank you for asking. But yes, I've mentioned it before, but uh, my mechanical arm has sustained some damage, such that it's not actively... It's not very usable right now. But, fortunately... The main game I've been playing, and the main game that I've intended to play, is a mobile game, so I can use just a hand for it. If we must, we must. We must indeed. But yes, so, now we've got more skills out of Doc. But yes, so, Field Medic has been upgraded, attacking door 60 defense. I didn't, yeah. Before, I had read Field Medic, I saw that it increased his HP. For whatever reason, I thought that it increased his defense as well. That's good at least? Yeah. But yes, I'm working on a solution that should allow me to... Well, I say working on a solution as if I were building something. I'm trying to get my Bluetooth drivers to recognize uh, Joy-Cons consistently, such that I can use them as controllers to play controller-based games until such time as my arm is good. Hope it gets better soon? So do I. But yes, again, the damage seems to be pretty minor so far. 
based on additional information I've gathered today, it might be a little bit worse than I was initially thinking, but it still shouldn't be too dramatic. But yes, at the very least, it's not painful anymore, so I'm glad about that at least. But yes, anyway, as I was saying, so I saw Field Medic, I saw that it increased his HP, and I had assumed that it... I wasn't reading it that closely, because we were in the middle of a game when I was reading it earlier. Uh, but yeah. So I thought that that Field Medic increased his defense, but no, it allows him to ignore enemy defense to a certain extent. And then Sympathicus Stimulation. Yes, interesting. Indeed. Yes, when healing an ally unit, any healing in excess of that unit's max HP will be converted to a rapidly decaying barrier. I wonder if that also applies to him, if you happen to be using his first skill. But, one way or the other, I think, I would imagine that probably the thing that you might use him for most would be a uh, Stim Pistol here, his gadget from his home game. But yes, immediately fires an epinephrine shot forward, healing the first op allied operator it hits by 300% of attack, presumably Doc's attack. But yes, this can also be used only three times. So he's not a very consistent source of healing, but he is a source of healing when necessary. So yes, Sympathicus Stimulation. I'm not quite sure. Depending on how rapidly that barrier decays, it might be... I don't know, it might not be... It might be good. It's probably good. It probably isn't amazing, but it's probably good. I uh, just realized we didn't have a uh, thing set up to prioritize our favorite operators, but it's okay, because we've already got uh, most of our high-level operators are our favorite ones anyway, so it's good. Call if you need a hand. Yes, Doc. Next, Ella. Up a few new tricks. Indeed. And you're about to pick up one more. A medal. Thanks. Workmanship's not bad at all, as far as decorations go. Indeed. So yes. So we got a I thought we got a new talent there. I think I oh no, I think it probably Grismot mine just was improved. So yes, can deploy up to two and store up to three. First enemy that passes in the mine will trigger its effect. When it retreats, immediately triggers the effect of a Gersmont mine from the tile this operator was deployed on. Okay, so I had noticed that effect earlier when uh, Ayla was defeated at one point. But yeah, anyway, so optical interference. When a trap is triggered, slows all surrounding targets and reduces the hit rate of physical and arts attacks by 10%, lasting for seven seconds. <clears throat> Active effect immediately gains one trap. And then shock defense. Passive effect, when a trap is triggered, stuns all surrounding targets, lasting for four seconds. So yes, so this is a stun, whereas before we just reduced their attack speed. Attack rate is, or hit rate. Hit rate's an interesting way to phrase it. I don't think I've seen any abilities or anything else mechanical in the game that has phrased it like that. So I'm not sure if hit rate is referring to accuracy, like if this makes it gives them a 10% chance to not hit, which I suppose the term optical interference would imply. But I don't know if it reduces their chance to hit, or if it reduces the speed at which they attack. Because I'd, I'd assume that it was attack speed before. Hmm. Interesting. Because, yeah, enemy accuracy is not really something that you generally think about in Arknights. Some of your units will sometimes have the ability to dodge. You'll have a dodge chance, but decreasing enemy accuracy is not an effect I've seen before, though I'm sure someone has had it at some point. Anyway, shock defense. So, yes, when... So, yes, instead of decreasing their accuracy... We're just going to assume that it's accuracy, because if it were, like, attack speed, surely it would say that, right? Um, anyway, so instead of decreasing their accuracy, it stuns them for a shorter period of time. 
Active Effect sets up a deployable shield to re increase this unit's defense by 150%. Attack range D reduces. Attack deals splash physical damage to all enemies around the target that ignores 200 of their defense. Gain one trap when this skill ends. But this is definitely a skill that's less focused on your Grismont Mines. Yeah, so lasts for 20 seconds, takes 20 seconds to, or no, takes 20 points to charge. And I, yeah, she doesn't, it's an offensive recovery skill, so that means that she gets uh, points for it when she attacks. So, it's probably, yeah, probably fairly slow, fairly slow to charge up. We might want to keep using optical interference for the time being. But I do think we'll go with shock defense just for the sake of it. Just because I want to see it. At least make it challenging. Indeed. It'll make things a little bit challenging to use a skill that we don't know how to use properly. And Iana. Uh, have you considered holographic recordings? We have not. Alright, so this one. A promotion. Do I get more access permissions? Maybe. Alright, so, Mirage Mine, we've already seen. Omniscient Tactics. Immediately nullifies the, the invisibility of enemies around for 8 seconds and switches to a substitute. Gains 200% attack speed and invisibility over the skill duration. So yeah, so, auto recovery. Hmm, okay. Immediately nullifies and switches to a substitute. So yeah, so it activates immediately upon being used. Yes, gains 200% attack speed and visibility over the skill duration. So yes, so for for these eight seconds. Okay. Let me let me take it take this again. So when the skill is activated, I apologize. Iana's doll keepers already work a little bit weird, and Iana is especially weird for a doll keeper. So. The original Iana that is on the field first is the Gemini Replicator. So it can't do anything because it's a hologram. So when her skill activates, then she switches over to her real self, which is in this case the substitute, but it's her real self. Yes. While this skill is active for those eight seconds, she is invisible, meaning that uh, ranged enemies can't target her. And she gains 200 attack speed, which should double her attack speed, basically. <clears throat> okay. So yes, whereas Mirage Mine... Okay, yeah. Mirage Mine didn't give us any ability to trigger, trigger her substitute manually. It just uh, meant that, yeah. Mirage Mine is purely passive. So it just gives her an added effect when she switches over to her substitute which in that previous mission we had some issues with because she wasn't able to, uh, wasn't always able to actively be contributing to combat if enemies weren't attacking her. I think most doll keepers are usually stronger when they're in their substitute form, or at least the one other doll keeper I've used is. So that is not the strange part of Iana, it's just the fact that she doesn't do anything at all before you switch her over to her substitute. Okay, so, um, I think it said that Gemini Replicator was improved, but I didn't look closely enough, or I don't remember what it did previously, so, uh, I don't know. But yes. One way or the other. I think Omniscient Tactics will probably be a little bit more flexible, being able to activate her skill whenever we want to, whereas Mirage Mine is... It is what it is, but what it is isn't really, uh... I don't know, it's, like, good. The thing about it is that it's good, but, like... I don't know, Omniscient Tactics will be more widely applicable, I think. It doesn't take, it doesn't take very long to charge, also, so that's good. So, this is to say that we'll actually be able to use Iana, like, frequently. Friendly reminder, my hologram doesn't stop bullets. Okay, so, beyond that, our team hasn't been holding up too well. 
Um, do I? Yeah, Stock has his thin pistol. Um, what are the major gaps in our team? I think a lot of the issue is that we don't have a whole lot of stage presence, so to speak. Yeah, Ayla isn't necessarily a high damage unit. She's a trap setter. Yes, Doc, I have just not used very well so far, I don't think. He probably could do pretty good damage, but I never really put him in a position to do good damage. Yes, Diana just didn't have a skill that was good for the mission that she was in previously, so I think that, you know, there's nothing I really could have done without operating her sooner, which maybe I should have, but... Tip. Myrtle's doing fine. Yeah. I do... I do prefer her first skill for the fact that it generates DP faster, but I do also appreciate that healing wings means that we can usually hold off on deploying a medic until later in the mission. So we might keep Myrtle on healing wings for right now. I mean, he's okay, but given that she's our only source of arch damage currently, I think we'd probably want a caster who always deals arch damage rather than one who sometimes doesn't do arch damage. Again, most enemies probably, even those who have like fairly, well, I don't know. I was going to say even enemies that have fairly high defense probably don't have so much defense that they wouldn't take more damage from her skill when it's, uh, yeah, wouldn't take more damage from her when her attack is nearly double, but it's still hard to say. But yeah, I want to look at these uh, armored scouts again. They do have very bad resistance, but even with their bad resistance, they still, like, took a lot of damage. <laughs> they still took a lot of uh, a lot of arts attacks before they went down, so I'm not sure I'm not sure if Tomimi's really the the play. Let's see, do we Okay, no, we need to once we complete this level, we'll have access to these. Utage's fine. She's kind of a niche unit being so I don't know, maybe she's not a niche unit, but I don't think that she's really good for sort of the mechanics we're facing. But yeah, like enemies who can attack her from basically infinite range, as long as they have line of sight on her, are very dangerous to her, given that she can't uh, heal freely. Perfumer will give her passive healing, but if an enemy just happens to be taking straight shots at her, like, forever for an extended period of time, then Utage is really not going to like that. And she can take a nap, but that's really not going to fix too much. There's only so much napping you can do to get crossbow bolts out of you. So Utage might not be very good for the mechanics we're facing. But yeah, really we need to sort of play around the fact that there are a lot of ranged units who can attack from effectively infinite range. Yes, that is not something that we've seen before, and it's something that we need to plan around. So yes, so Utage is probably not in her element right now. She's hard to play around a little bit because she's mostly meant to be kind of self-sufficient, but she, again, just the way that the game is, or these levels are built, puts her usually in a situation where she could very easily be greatly harmed, and there's nothing we can do to quickly fix that. So, Utage might be swapped out for right now. Switched out for another guard. Um, that being said, I don't know that we have any great guard options. I think probably one of our better ones would be Astesia, considering that we are facing fairly high defense units. But yes. Um, I think we're going to switch over to Astesia, and I think that we have been using Astral Sword in large part due to the increased damage, and as well as the increased block, but we might use Astral Protection instead. So actually, well, hmm. Astral Protection takes longer to charge up, gives less deep or less attack, but it gives, it lasts much longer. Hmm. I 
And yeah, my thought here is we probably don't need Astesia to do a whole lot of blocking. So giving her more block in some situations could be detrimental because that means that she's being attacked by more melee enemies at once. It's a little bit hard to say for certain, but... I think we'll go with protection for now. Death Eater is doing okay. Like, there's nothing... Death Eater isn't doing especially good or bad. I'm just not really playing around her. I've not put her in a position where she can really do much. And that's entirely on me. Um, yeah, she also doesn't have a skill that's, like, been super helpful to us. Or she doesn't... The skill she has equipped is it hasn't been super helpful to us. But yes, Raging Iron Fist would probably be better. But I don't think we're really in a position where we need a push operator right now. Like, I could strategize around having F Eater, but I don't think she's really contributing that much. Rassant's doing fine. Rassant has been... Rassant? Rassant, rather. Rassant has been very good, actually. Like, I've kind of been sleeping on her on the time that we've had her on the team. Like, she gets results. Like, she she does not kill things. Let me tell you, she does not do damage. But, she doesn't take damage either. And, she makes it so those around her also don't take damage, at least not quite as much. So yeah, Croissant is very, very sturdy. We can't... We don't have that much control over her with her auto-defense skill. And Magnetic Hammer, of course, doesn't give her any defense at all. But, Croissant is really, really doing pretty good in terms of just being a brick wall for enemies to smash themselves into. And, with that in mind, probably she would be a good partner for Duff. Because Croissant can just not take damage, Duff Ock can do a little bit of extra damage from being able to, yeah, getting an attack bonus from attacking enemies that are not uh, being blocked by him. I don't know if, um, I don't know if that bonus increases his, uh, also increases his stim pistol healing. That could be interesting to see. Of course, the only, the only, uh, the only downside to that is the fact that since Croissant just doesn't take damage, uh, Doc doesn't really need to heal her that much. So, anyway, yeah, like I was saying, Tamimi probably is not the play right now. But now that I think about it, I just kind of want to use her anyway. I don't know, I just want to, I want to give Tamimi a chance, you know? Tamimi, I don't know, she's kind of niche. She's a very niche unit. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, so, Astesia is there for arch support. Tamimi doesn't necessarily need to be doing pure arch damage then, or at least, yeah. The need for arch damage isn't as dire. But yes, um... We've got good blocking in the form of uh, Croissant and Doc. But yes, Estelle does a good job of blocking and taking out enemies while also being rather survivable due to her self-healing and all that. Um, Perfumer is fine. Gavial is fine. I don't think we really have any medics that would be more ideal for the situation. I think everyone's just doing fine, basically. Um, yeah, again, we've just got a lot of physical damage and not a lot of, uh, not a lot of arch damage. Not a lot of arch damage and not a lot of blocking on a lot of our units. Because yeah, Iana is a melee unit, but she can't block anything at all effectively, unless they can't attack her for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, as long as her yeah, as long as her Mirage is up, or as long as her Gemini is up, she can't block anything because as soon as she gets hit, she switches to not her Gemini. And thus, uh I wonder if abilities like Miracle Field would like potentially interfere with that or if you know anything that would if anything that would prevent her from getting attacked would uh yeah that would probably be really bad so maybe don't place iana too close to croissant but again a 10 percent chance to not 
activate her skill isn't that bad because she can just activate it the next time she gets hit. Hmm. That's it. Anyway, I'm overthinking this, I think. I just need to get a little bit more arch damage, maybe. I think, ideally, we should get our arch damage from a guard. I don't know that we have a lot of good guards that uh, can do arch damage, or at least not a lot of ones that I want to use right now. We definitely have options, but most of the, or rather, yeah, arch guards typically don't do a whole lot of blocking. Midnight is an option, but he doesn't really... He's not super good. Hmm. He's probably not terrible, but he's not the best either. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, we probably don't need arch damage as much as I'm thinking of. I think we just need more damage. We just need to deploy our units a little bit smarter and just kind of do a little bit... Uh, we just need to be better at the game, basically. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, I think we're doing fine. I think I'm overthinking this. But yes, the armored scouts weren't taking a whole lot of damage, even with arch damage on them. But that's not terrible. They're just a little bit of a nuisance. Esthesia is here to sort of pick up the slack on that. Ayla attacks at range. Yana also effectively attacks at range, though she doesn't. She doesn't sit on range tiles. Dot can attack at range. So honestly, I don't know. I definitely feel like having some melee arch damage wouldn't go awry. So, hmm. Again, the issue is that it's hard to have melee arch damage, or at least consistent melee arch damage, while also having good block numbers. I don't necessarily know any units that can do that, but I'm sure that there's some. Hmm. Of course, one thing that I haven't really used much is we could use, uh, rather than just using another core caster like Tomimi, we could use a blast caster, or at least some form of caster who can do some AoE, perhaps. Casters are definitely, definitely the unit type that I've slept on the most. I really don't have very many casters leveled up at all. And the ones that I do have leveled up, I don't have leveled up very much. Mm. Well, you know what? As far as teamwork's concerned, Let's bring Lava back. I don't mind, as long as nobody messes up. Okay, so... Everything is okay. We don't really have a team going, or we don't have a plan, per se, but we do have a team, so. I don't want to put Ella in the lead, considering that she is sort of the, she seems to be the de facto leader of our division of Team Rainbow here. I guess actually she's already on the team, so she wouldn't be able to be swapped in immediately. Yes, Ella in place of Gabriel, Gabriel in place of Ella. Where did I put Ayla? Oh dear, right, she's not been favorited yet. There we go. Put her in favorites, so she is easy to select. Time to show you what I can do. Indeed. And let's put Gabriel back on the squad. Lead the rear to me. Go show them what you're made of. But yes, doing this has provided us with no material benefit, but I felt like doing it anyway. audio's getting a little bit weird. <clears throat> the Mets are in the underground warehouse, sir. As you instructed, we imitated them, set up a bomb, caused a little bit of chaos, and got the stuff. Good. You don't look happy, sir. We need to get rid of the stuff. It's hard not to leave a trail, even if we change the packaging and sell it on the black market. You think it'll get tracked down? I got word that Rhodes Island sent someone with an atypical background to make the delivery. 
I noticed. The man looked familiar. But uh, old Poncho is in jail and his people are scattered. Just being his son won't carry much influence. Not necessarily. Someone from the city council let slip that Candela is looking for a successor. And the kid is a candidate. But I thought Poncho and Candela... Candela cares more about ability than, person, than a personal grudge. What can we do? Raynell's secretary shared some resources with us the last time he came by. Oh dear. Uh, yes, a few shops and warehouses. Wasn't there a warehouse that belonged to a pharmaceutical company? Yes. One box of meds more or less won't catch their attention. You mean, pin it on Raynell? That's not how I would put it. They came asking for our help. It's only natural that we ask for something in return. Hmm. Apologies for keeping you waiting, Senor Ernesto. No problemo, I just got here. Uh, excuse me, one... I got your drink, Senor Burke. A devil, right? I'm glad you still remember what I liked after so much time away. Our time together was much longer. Here's your coffee. Mm, thanks. Hmm. Everything is just right. After you left, there was no one who could take care of things like you could. Young people these days. Have patience. You can change quickly in an environment like that. Uh, by the way, Lady Candela wanted me to give you this document. Document? Does she want me to do something for her? No, it's what you're looking for. I haven't even said why I'm here today. Lady Candela knows the exact moment you entered the souls. She knows that your shipment was stolen and that you're, ac you're anxious to get it back. This is a record of all unusual traffic and cargo movements, including locations and persons involved. I don't know how I can thank her. No need for thanks. Just don't forget us. But yes, a lot of references to other events that we haven't done. Looks like Ella needs a sip as well. Sip. One in her honor. There's more dust here than cargo. What's your mission, Ella? The stuff here has been stuck in the warehouse for the past six months, with only a single watchman keeping an eye on it. That's like an invitation for people to help themselves. Yes, Milo says that there are reports of stolen goods every day. Are we tracking down where they went? No, it's normal for stuff to go out, but yesterday the watchman got a call to expect a delivery of medicine. Milo is suspicious and wants us to investigate. Hostile intent? Hard to say. I don't know what they would want with a m m warehouse like this. Maybe Milos just wanted an excuse to get you and Shurat out of the way now that he is finally there. Eh, that he finally has time to get something done with Raynell. All he needs to ask is that I won't go within a kilometer of either of them. You really don't like him, do you? I don't like him either, apparently. <laughs> Given that he's, a, he's uh, colluding with Mateo. I just don't like having to watch him play golf on the balcony every day. At least he kept his promise to behave. Listen to some of these operators' dialogues so I can do a voice that sounds vaguely like them. But oh well. We're not going to concern ourselves with that too much. This is where the clues from the document lead, but... But it's just an old rundown warehouse. There's a shipment of medicine coming to this warehouse in a bit. Let's see if it's the one we're looking for. Only one watchman at the warehouse, no threat. Once the truck comes in, Techno is going to turn off the security systems and let us go check it out. Well, we still have to wait. <sighs> Believe me. When is that shipment going to arrive? I can't believe they're actually sending someone to inspect it. What for? The weather is so good. I just want to find a beach to lay down on, have a cup of coffee, listen to a song or two. Dancing a soundless tango at night. 
There's the CD. Ah. It's in a sang soundless tango at night. I can't see your face, only the warmth of your hand. Now this is life. Yeah, not a lot of threat from this here, Watchman. He's not even trying. I don't want to sleep so badly, I'll lend you a hand. <laughs> Alright, good job. That was easy. Let's see, where are the controls? I thought there was just one manager. Why are there four people here? Who are they? The security systems are down. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that we know those meds are the ones we're looking for. The bad news is that Raynell's bodyguards are here. Four of them, all in the warehouse. I thought nobody ever came here. Well, we've got a disadvantage in numbers. Can you cut the lights, Techno? Arletta and I might be able to sneak in under the cover of darkness. Sure, I could try. But it's off. Alright, we're moving. Well, this guy knows how to live alright. Music and coffee. Is that this year's crop? It smells good. Ouch, too hot. Shoot, spilled it all over the keyboard. There's a napkin when you need it. Stops at the sound of springs pushing a plastic cover open. She hastily lifts her arm and sees an indicating light glowing green next to the keyboard. Below it is a tag that reads, Broadcasting. Uh-oh. When is it coming? Don't worry, we have time. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. I was hoping to go a little bit late tonight, but uh, my throat is bothering me a little bit. I guess that's normal for an old warehouse like this. Dancing a soundless tango at night. I can't see your face, only the warmth of your hand. That's decidedly less normal for an old warehouse at night. Use check out the control room. In the dark corner, you step on my toes, but I'm head over heels. Shouldn't have drank that stupid cup of coffee. Someone's coming. I need to hide. Excuse me? Watchman has been knocked out. There are signs of sabotage in the security and lighting systems. Someone has infiltrated the warehouse. They spilled coffee and pressed the wrong button. Not a professional from the looks of it. I'll try to get the lights back up. Looks like Ernesto isn't in yet. I'd put you to sleep too then, big guy. Hmm? Oh, he's fast. Kid? He was as shocked by the figure leaping out of the darkness, not just because of her small size, but also because of her punch was so fast that all he could do that eh, all he could do was to block it. He grabs the girl's wrist after a few exchanges and attempts to restrain her, but quickly realizes that things will not be so easy. Not so fast. What? This kid's stronger than a grown man. And not a kid. The girl struggles free of Hughes's grasp and stomps on his toes. Before he has a chance to feel the pain, the girl launches a spinning kick to his face. Not that he has much to speak of there, but... Oof. Walking on the streets, we let each other's hands go. Far away you go, never seen again. I'm left alone, searching in the dark. Oh, the silent, unfinished tango. Stay close. Alright. They are sneak forward silently along the wall, not realizing that another group is doing the same a short distance away. Uh-oh. You've always got to check your corners. Hughes is not answering. Should we look for him? No, I'll go. 
You wait here for the truck. There must be more than one infiltrator. Be aware that we can't use lights if someone is lying in wait. We'll be sitting ducks. Do you want to use my night vision goggles? You hold on to it. I'll be careful. Ayla crouches down, clutching her gun, feeling her way in the darkness. Where did Arletta go? Let her stay close. Just so hard to do anything in the dark. This way? I might have taken a wrong turn. There shouldn't be another corner. So many times, rushing past each other. And indeed, they do just that. Or perhaps they brush into each other. There shouldn't have been a corner here, not this way. So much searching, so much lost. Maybe we'll see each other again at the next corner. Hope not. Very fun moment there. Ernesto? Uh-oh, I lost him. Who's there? Did the girl not realize she was walking in circles around the same wall? Not everyone has night vision. Say, I think I've seen her before. She was in that art community yesterday. Should we leave her here? I think her friends would come for her. I'll wait. All right, I'll look elsewhere. He's heavy. I should have stuffed you in the cupboard with the other poor or soul. Why would people from that neighborhood be here? This doesn't make sense. <sighs> What's that noise? Hmm? Locke holds his breath and reaches for his weapon. Auditory senses are sharpened in darkness. The dragging sound grows ever closer. So many times, rushing past each other. Yeah, I'm assuming that's probably uh, techno with fuse. So much searching, so much lost. Maybe we'll see each other again at the next corner. Indeed they do. Freeze. Their surprised exclamations send the warehouse into a frenzy. Doc? Gustav? Heck no? Well, you can blame your bad luck. What is that? Arts Flash, get to cover, Ayla. Wait, Techno, don't do it here. No wrong moves, girl. I've got your friend here. Oh no, they've got Arletta. Hmm. We have a hostage, too. Sure up. The only light in the darkness is from Techno's arts. Not bright enough to illuminate the whole warehouse, but just enough for everyone to see each other's faces. Jesus cross and scan around, reading the same thing on the assembled faces. Well, this is awkward. How did we end up here? Maybe we can exchange hostages and each go our own way? Wait! What are you doing here? We have to find out who's been using this warehouse for smuggling. What about you, girl? Looking for the meds we lost. We've already said we didn't steal the meds. Really? Then what are you doing here? I told you, we're trying to find out who's smuggling stuff into this warehouse. What about you? I said, this is where our meds are. You people are just impossible. Uh-oh. Hey, anybody home? Your stuff's here. Man, all the way out in the middle of nowhere. All right. So, if we all want to know what's up with that shipment of meds, why don't we ask the guy who's delivering it? Very convenient, that. And so, the battle begins. 
So yeah, I think I might wrap up after this battle, by which I mean I will probably not read the uh, after story. But yes, I certainly don't intend to not read it at all, but not this time, I don't think. No time okay, to waste. so definitely those... If I've ever seen an Originium Explosive, those look like Originium Explosives to me. And I've not, but you know. Hmm. So, how do we want to swing this? Again, Myrtle's probably not in an ideal position, but she's in a position. But yeah, we don't want to place Iana somewhere where she can get shot at too much, because My she's not successful. too survivable once her... Once her, yeah, decoy goes away. Yes, of course, now Myrtle... Right. We did exactly the thing that I said that I shouldn't do. Um, and, yeah, made it so Myrtle is not able to... Uh, yeah, I didn't put someone to, like, block with Myrtle. So. Healing wings... Estelle is probably the person who needs healing wings the least out of all of us, but, you know, whatever. Good. Hmm. Ready when you are. Interesting. Okay. Also, I missed the prompt on that guy, so I don't know what he does. Um... Gathering intel. Oh, okay. So, yes. I was going to say, yeah, Iana... Or no, her skill should be manual, but it seemed to have just activated there, so I'm not sure what was up with that. This guy here looks like trouble. I don't like the look of him. Um, yeah, Grossmot mines don't do damage. Hmm. I was half hoping I could maybe position someone such that they could attack the Originium explosives, but I also don't know if our if our units are going to uh, attack those. Hmm. I'm definitely, I'm worried, I'm very worried. Things are going to get bad if we don't do something, and, and I don't know precisely what to do. So, right. let's just kind of throw croissant out there and hope Ready that uh, everything goes well. So, Gaviel's going to get shot. We don't like that. Um, she got stunned, which we also don't like. Okay, so, croissant exploded, which is about what I expected, but uh, she should survive. Okay, so it seems that... Using her skill, it seems that running this emulator for too long makes it act kind of funny. Um, Where do you need hmm. me? Yeah, this was probably not a great idea. But yes, so it appears that enemies don't attack the, um, or yeah, our units. Well, I guess I didn't place any of our units in such a position that they could attack the, uh, explosives. Hmm. This was a bad idea, also. Hmm. Alright. So, could I... No, I could not place <coughs> Doc there if I wanted to. Or I could not place a unit in front of Doc. This is all just kind of a mess. So, let's deploy our units in a way that makes some sense. I don't like this explosive here, but I've kind of, uh not uh done this very well hmm. i guess perfumer can so heal from here so as long as she doesn't get too shot we should be fine yeah it doesn't seem like oh dear yes yeah, so it doesn't seem like iana can like do use her skill while her, uh, yeah, while she is on the field, basically. Um, probably, get, considering that we don't have any need for DP, we can just switch out Myrtle for Doc. Get going, quickly! He was very excited, apparently. Um, so yeah, so given what we've seen, if we're expecting, if we're expecting Iana to get hit a lot, 
then her first skill, her passive, seems to be the skill to use. But if we're not expecting her to get hit a lot, then it might be her second one that we'd want to use. Anyway, this all went pretty well when I was expecting it to go pretty badly, so uh, I guess one way or the other it's fine. Anyway, so, like I said, well done, Rope, Doctor. Sore, don't want to keep going for too, too much longer, so let's wrap up. So, I will need to remember that we need to read the after story for CR3. I feel like I feel like we meant to do that for another one, and I'm a little bit worried that I didn't, but I also don't... Eh, I'd have to double check. But I think we're fine on that. I think we're fine so far. Yes. So. Wrapping up. Okay. So. Dark Knights. <laughs> I don't know why I said that with so much emphasis. But, anyway. So, Arc Knights has been Arc Knights. We have done what we came here to do, and we have done it, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say beyond that. But yes, we accomplished our stated goal. We have, uh, not had a lot of internet issues other than sort of the initial batch. I'm not quite sure what was up with all of that, but one way or the other. Um, yeah, one way or the other, we should be okay. And it seemed that we weren't, even when it was happening, it wasn't too, too bad. At the very least, people didn't leave immediately, so. Um, let's see, what else is there to say? Not a whole lot. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find a target on my own. Um, yeah, probably won't be sticking around for very long, because again, with my current status, I'm not able to type for very well, or at least not, uh, not for an extended period of time comfortably. So, yes. Again, if you would like to suggest a raid target, I would be delighted to hear it. If not, now, anyway, one way or the other, I will go over the schedule while you give some thought to that, if you would like. So, today has been Arc Nights. Again, we intend to play Arc Nights quite a bit until such time as, um, yeah, such time as the event is over with. I'm not necessarily going to commit to every day. We're going to take a break at some point. I will always, I always take uh, Sundays off one way or the other. I say take Sundays off as though I stream more days than the, of the week than, than I don't, but anyway, so if we really want to and feel the need to, we might stream through Saturday, take a break, and then stream through Wednesday. I don't, I think the event will end by the time that I would be able to stream on Thursday. Yeah, because I think the, like, daily reset when the event would end is, like, 4 a.m. So, that would not be an option for me. But yes. So, I guess, yeah, even if I were to stream, that would more or less, it would make sense to just do an extension of the, the Wednesday stream. But no, I'm not staying up that late. <laughs> I will not do that under any circumstances. But yes, anyway, so I don't see anything happening that will necessarily guarantee that I won't be streaming on any given day. Um, but yeah, I might be a little bit busy Monday evening, which could delay things. But again, okay. Let's take this from the top. So, I definitely intend to stream for on Friday and Saturday. We'll see about Thursday. But yes. Or, and yeah, again, if I need to continue to do so, we will continue to stream at a higher rate Yeah, throughout the, the rest of next week as well. Possibly Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But, hopefully it doesn't get to that. But yes, we're progressing at a decent clip. I think, assuming that this is eight or nine missions long, like most of the other events we've done so far. Um, yeah, we're up to... We've done three missions, including a tutorial and a... Or, yeah, we've done three missions, not including the tutorial. 
including the tutorial and the story chapter, that's four. So, we're, we are on track, even without having to invest too, too much time. But, I do want to get through this. Like, I don't want to have the event end when we're right about to finish it. So. Yeah, I think right now we will say that I will stream Thursday. Yeah, I will stream through Saturday, basically. I will stream through Saturday and we'll evaluate next week based on the results. If we continue at this rate of roughly two chapters per, or two missions per stream, then, and I hope to increase that, ideally, but <laughs> yes, if we are able to get through things at a rate of two chapters per stream, then the next three streams will get us to, uh, yeah, six chapters. So we should actually, yeah, in theory, pardon. I'm thinking about this as I speak of it, so I didn't have time to do the math in my mind. So, we've done four chapters, roughly, approximately the equivalent thereof. If there are, if we're assuming that there are nine of them, that's five more, so we would need to, yeah, if we're doing two per stream, roughly, then we should be done by Saturday, or by the end of stream on Saturday. We will see because stream time varies quite a bit, but yeah. If we assume that, then we should be good by the end of this week, and we can get back to a normal streaming schedule next week. But yes, for right now though, we will say that we will stream Thursday and Friday. Again, circumstances can change, and I might not be able to stream on those specific days, but you know. I suppose I probably don't need to be the one to tell you that life does not always happen exactly as you expect it, but you know. Once I say something, I feel bad if I don't hold myself to that standard, so I always feel like I need to say, by the way, things could possibly change. Who knows? The whole world could explode into ash, and that might delay my streaming somewhat. Anyway, so 9 p.m. Central Time, possibly close to 9.30 p.m. Central Time, for the Thursday and Friday streams. The Saturday stream should be roughly 8.30 p.m. Central Time, as this one was. Yes, we will see what next week brings based on just kind of how things shake out. But yes, if we keep the pace that we have been, yeah, if we keep the pace that we've been setting and we don't, um, the event isn't like unusually long, then we should be done by end of stream on Saturday, and we should be good to go, basically. Again, there are always going to be the challenge stages, but I'm not too concerned about those right now. So, I think that should leave us good. I'm not seeing any raid suggestions, so I think we are going to go and drop by Taco Aya, who I have not seen stream in a very long time. I'm not going to go so far as to speculate that maybe they uh, are coming back from some sort of hiatus, because I don't know that for any, with any great deal of certainty, but I, at the very least, have not seen them for a while, so there's that much. But yes, so I'm going to put the raid message in to start us off, because again, my typing is a little bit slow and a little bit awkward with my current arm situation. Especially since the keyboard that I'm using is on the left-hand side. It doesn't need to be, honestly. I could have moved it, but I wasn't using the other keyboard anyway because I was playing Arknights with my mouse. But anyway, we have arrived. Customary raid message. And the raid into Taco Aya. Yeah, again, not seen Taco Aya in a very, very long time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that, I don't know. That could just very well be that. I don't watch a whole lot of Twitch. Oh dear, that's my alarm going off. But yes, anyway, I don't watch a whole lot of Twitch when I'm uh, not streaming, basically. Well, I don't watch a whole lot of stream except or a lot of streams except when I raid people. That's my main stream watching time. So, 
It could just be that Taco Aya usually streams on days when I don't. But anyway, one way or the other, we'll just say hi. I won't be able to stick around for long, but it is what it is. I hope you all enjoy the stream. I suppose it's fairly late, so I probably wouldn't be staying around for very long anyway. Anyway, Taco Aya, doing some art right now. Yes, I don't know if this is a drawing of anything or anyone in particular, but I suppose we will see when we arrive. I've already sent out the raid message, I've already talked about the schedule. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>